40% of the Earth's land surface is classed as dry land that's characterized by long periods of drought and short periods of very intense rainfall. These dry lands are home to one in three people on the planet, most of whom live in developing countries where the constant search for water traps millions in a vicious cycle of subsistence. I'm Russell Beard in eastern Kenya, where an organization is helping local communities mitigate the effects of climate change by improving soil health and food security and repairing endangered ecosystems. In many places, overgrazing and deforestation have reduced the land's capacity to absorb rainwater, so that when it does fall, more than 50% can be lost as runoff, taking valuable topsoil with it and turning fertile farmland into desert. Joe Kiyoko and his colleagues at the Africa Sandam Foundation are determined to help communities across Africa break the cycle of poverty and drought with an ancient rainwater harvesting technology called a sand dam. Okay, Joe, so yeah. I can see there's some activity going on down here. Yeah, this is where the action is. This is amazing. The raw materials are bought with donor funding, but the manpower is all voluntary. A sand dam is a reinforced concrete wall built across a seasonal riverbed. Over three or four rainy seasons, sand is washed downstream and deposited in the reservoir behind the dam wall, which stores up to 40% of its volume as water. The sand slows evaporation, filters the water, and protects it from contamination by livestock or disease-carrying mosquitoes. And because the water table is raised, the entire ecosystem surrounding the dam regenerates naturally. How do you build a sand dam? You make the formwork using timber, then you just mix cement and sand and water, then you keep on adding rocks. You keep on adding rocks as well as the reinforcement bars held in place by the barbed wire. Yeah. Well, should we go down? Let's go down. How many gallons of water do you think the sand dam will collect? It will be millions of litres of water. Millions of litres, Millions right. of litres of water. So then they just come fetch water and go home. Uh, mostly it was girls and women who are doing yeah. it. And that explains why there are more women than men here, because it is the women who are charged with the responsibility of collecting water. It's a nice atmosphere, isn't it? Everyone is volunteering, they're all getting stuck in. This, this is genuine community work. There's also a proverb in Kamba that says that uh, cha kimweke yo anda, it means one finger cannot kill lice. So for you to kill lice, you need two fingers so that you can press it. And that explains why the people are here, to join hands, to make this hard work light. Cha kimweke yo anda. Many hands make light work. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting me uh, for letting me take part. Everybody contributing in their own small way, and the world keeps on building, keeps on building. Joe wanted to take us to a mature dam to show us how it's transforming the environment. We are working on water, so <laughs> to speak. <laughs> Look at this. You can see what an incredible, stark difference it is. It's just arid, sandy, just dry ground. And there it's just lush green. The animals are grazing, the trees are green. Yeah. It's unreal. So this, these pools of water here, these are actually from last year's rains. Yeah, because these acts as a reservoir, uh -huh. then it keeps on seeping down slowly, 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 up until they get to the next rain season. Yeah. And this is essentially what a sand dam does, holding water and then allowing it to flow downstream. Alongside getting water for these communities, then the microclimate also gets changed positively, such that people and animals enjoy their, their surroundings. You're oasis makers, aren't you? Exactly. I would say we are oasis makers, because if you manage to get something as green as this in the middle of a very hot and dry place, then that too would be called oasis makers.
So just tell us what's going on here, Joe, because they, um, the ladies are obviously collecting quite a lot of water here. Yeah, yeah this is actually a scoop well. It is different in color from the water held upstream. It is very clean, it has mm. been filtered. From here, they just go and use it straight in their homesteads. They say this is the best that they have wow. at the moment. And if I can just taste it, um, pure. No salt, no nothing. Wow. Very natural, very fresh. Am I gonna, will I get sick if I try that? You can't get sick, it's sweet. You sure? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. Very clean. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Tastes better than yeah. the mineral oh, well, water that it's we have that you yeah. have in the, in the car, right? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow. A moderate-sized dam can supply over a thousand people with a reliable source of water, suitable for domestic use and even commercial agriculture. So this is a young farm, so the same age as the, as the dam. Brand new, as you can see. Yeah, brand new. Yeah. Oh, look at this, you can see the... Uh, you can see these new plantations here. Is that kale and spinach? That is kale, spinach, some fruit trees in there. Uh -huh. There's some pepper, some maize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is your farm here you share with your friends. But tell us, what was it like before, before you had the sand dam? What was it like when the rains would come? Oh, rain used to sweep everything. When it rained, water used to pass here, sweeping everything. I'm going to Indian Ocean. Yeah. 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 So now when it was constructed, now there is a change on the environment. Even you can see across there, there was no vegetation, green vegetation. Now you can see vegetation is still there. Mm -hmm. So with all this water, it means you must be working even harder, eh? Harder, yeah. I <laughs> and you don't yeah. mind? You don't I don't mind. mind all this I work? don't mind. I was even, this extra even water? no, I don't mind. Uh, you need to work hard to get your daily bread, because I'm not employed by anybody. I'm not employed. I have, I have employed myself here. That is what gives me satisfaction in this kind of work. You see, people starting to earn them an income without destroying the environment. That's why we say sand dams transform lives. It's dams, 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 trees, 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 and the environmental benefits just fall in place naturally. <laughs>